Hello children how are you all i hope you all are doing good this is rajita from telangana model school ibrahim nagar welcome to today's digital class now let us learn about plant parts and their functions plants have five main parts they are roots stem leaves flowers fruits children you can find the picture of a plant on the screen can you identify the parts of that plant now let us learn about each part and its function in detail root roots grow deep into the soil they hold the soil firmly and help the plant to stand without falling down they also help the plant to absorb water and minerals from the soil in few plants roots also have other functions in plants like carrot and beetroot the roots store food materials inside them in few plants like jasmine the roots help in reproduction by the process called vegetative propagation so children now can you tell me what are the functions of a root yes roots help in anchorage of a plant into the soil they also help in absorption of water and minerals from the soil in some plants like carrot and beetroot roots help in storage of food and also in some plants they help in vegetative propagation now let us learn about stem stem supports the plant by holding the flowers fruits branches and buds they also transport water and nutrients to various parts in few plants like sugarcane the stem also stores food material in some plants like rose the stem also helps in vegetative propagation and thus helps in reproducing new plants so children i hope you understood the functions of stem in a plant yes stem holds flowers fruits branches and buds stem transports water and nutrients to various parts of a plant in plants like sugarcane stem helps in storage of food and in plants like roses stem helps in reproduction now let us learn about function of leaves children do you know that leaves are called kitchen of the plant let us learn why green plants prepare food in the presence of sunlight by a process called photosynthesis for this plants require carbon dioxide water and nutrients the water and minerals absorbed by the roots reach the leaf through the stem the leaves breathe in carbon dioxide through the small holes present on the lower side of the leaf called as stomata the chlorophyll inside the leaves trap the solar energy and convert this light energy into chemical energy by using carbon dioxide water and nutrients the end products are glucose and oxygen the food prepared is transported to various parts of the plant and is also stored in various forms whereas the by product oxygen is sent out through the stomata present in the leaves so children now did you understand why that leaf is called kitchen of the plant yes because it prepares the food now let us learn about the flower flower contains male and female reproductive organs and helps in reproduction 
द कलरफुल पेटल्स ऑफ द फ्लावर्स ऑल्सो अट्रैक्ट इंसेक्ट्स विच हेल्प इन पॉलिनेशन आफ्टर पॉलिनेशन द फ्लावर ऑल्सो हेल्प इन बेरिंग फ्रूट्स एंड सीड्स नाउ लेट अस लर्न अबाउट द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट फ्रूट फ्रूट हैज टू मेन फंक्शंस fruits help in dispersal of seeds they also prevent the seeds from drying until they get matured children now you learned the parts of a plant and their functions now it's a time for questionnaire can you name the five parts of a plant Yes children good root stem leaves flowers and fruits Can you name a plant in which stem stores the food Yes potato sugarcane onion etc Which part of a plant is called kitchen of the plant Yes leaf is called kitchen of the plant Which part of a plant helps in pollination by attracting insects Yes flowers attract insects and help in pollination Okay children I hope you understood the various parts of a plant and their functions go through the lesson and still if you have any doubts contact your subject teachers